so guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a shaggy doormat using a sack stay tuned and watch the video till the end there are so many ways of making a doormat using a sack but today we are going to focus on this particular one that makes your doormat look extra fluffy and firm The type of yarns we are going to use is the double and the thick ones. A color of your choice, you can choose any color, but as for me, I chose these four colors. And a crochet, the one that has a loop and a clip. And that's a thread sizer, but you it's not that important. We are going to use it to size our threads or yarns. And we have our scissor, a pair of scissors and a marker pen that we'll use to design our doormat. So mending the edges of your doormat is very essential because the sack usually runs because of the cutting and all that. So to mend the edges of this uh, sack, we we'll need a, a smaller thread as opposed to the other one that I showed you and a needle. There are so many ways you can mend the edges of your doormat because the aim of mending the edges is to prevent the sack from running. So in this one I'm going to show you the one that's a little bit decorative and if you want a detailed one I'll drop the video of the same right after I post this one. So stay tuned to watch it out if you are interested with this method of mine. And it's up to you to decide whether you want these stitches to be closer, very closer to each other or apart from each other as I'm doing. Mending the edges of your doormat before you actually start making your doormat is very essential because it helps you to draw boundaries uh, so that when you start designing your doormat, like if you want to draw circles on your doormat or write a name, you'll know the boundaries. Like I don't have to exit this, I don't have to stop here, you see. In case you want a detailed video of how to mend your ed the edges of your doormat like mine, I'll drop the video of the same right here. And the design of your doormat is up to you. You can decide to draw flowers or write a name, for example, welcome or anything that pleases you. If you do not have a marker pen near you, you can use anything that's available. The aim here is to show you uh, what you're supposed to do and maybe stick to the design of your doormat. You can use a charcoal, you can use a winoa kalamu, anything that's available. You can always improvise. The good thing with DIYs, you can always improvise. So next we are going to cut our yarn into smaller pieces. Now this way we are going to use the thread sizer. We'll just wrap the, the yarn around the thread sizer round and round so that we can cut it into small equal pieces. But again if you don't have a thread sizer you can always use your fingers. 
uh, but just make sure that your yarns are of the same size so that your doormat will come out just beautiful. Next, we come in with our crochet and fill in the yarn's uh, orange color in the orange circle. So watch carefully and so that you can understand because this is the major part that you've all been waiting for. The crochet is always found in any cosmetic shop. It's the same as the ones used to, to crochet your hair or anything. So if you are a saloonist, I hope you know how to use it. But if you don't know how to use a crochet, kindly watch keenly to learn. And guys, I'm really sorry. I don't know how I can explain this, but I'm sure that you can see what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing it slowly so that you can understand. I'm sure that observing is the best way to learn. So just watch keenly and I hope you get what I'm doing. And if you don't get, you can watch it as many times as you can because this is key. this is gonna take some time it's gonna take longer than expected especially if you're a beginner but uh, when your hand gets used to it mkono <laughs> kizoe you'll just do this domat in two days can you believe that i do my domat in two days and i'm done so practice makes perfect uh, when you become a pro you'll be doing it even uh, one domat will be finished in a day that's if you Put your energy and your time in it. For those using a sack like mine, you can note the difference between the upper side and the lower side. Like one side can be crocheted and then the other one cannot be. You see? It can't be. But the other side, it can be crocheted. So make sure you choose, uh, even while doing your edges, you choose the upper side first so that you can do your sketching well.
in case you're wondering if the sack is strong enough to hold the yarns it is i i just tell you to try it and answer it yourself because even the ones that we buy i don't know the mesh or whatever they are not as strong as this sack and in terms of washing you can wash your sack very well co- com- compared to the mesh and other things so as for me if you ask me i recommend a sack for your doormat i have several doormats uh, that i made using a mesh and i have several doormats that i made using a sack and trust me when i say the sack is the deal trust me because i have used both of them and the sack is very long lasting compared to the mesh that one i can assure you So guys, if there's anywhere you need clarity, you can just tell me in the comment section if there's anything that you don't understand or you have any question in general, just ask me in the comment section. If there's a person who reads and answers all the comments, it's me. I'll attend to you as as quick as possible. And if you need a uh, clarity on something, uh be sure that I'll do a video of the same specifically for you because i like it when my viewers are satisfied so be sure to be sure to share with your friends like comment subscribe and thank you so very much for the support guys so this marks the end of today's video guys thank you so much for watching my video till the end and uh, for those ones who may need clarity of how to make the edges of your doormat as i mentioned earlier it's very essential be sure to stop me after this to watch it because i'll post it a few hours or a day after posting this video so thank you so much have a nice evening have a good day or have a good night bye Thank <laughs> you.